Hello, welcome to Erwin Singh Academy. This is a third lecture of on definite integral. I hope you have already watched part one to part two before watching part three. So let us discuss this, uh, how to solve this and what to do this. In uh, definite integral, uh, we have discussed already about the first five properties of definite integral. In last session, just I am going to connect this that what we had learned the fifth property was that 0 to a fx dx was 0 to a f of a minus x dx or this way how many questions be here just to connect this i am giving one more question and thereafter we will proceed for the next 0 to pi by 2 log tan x dx is ko karna kya kare अब इसमें अगर ये प्रॉपर्टी लगा दी जाए तो क्या हो जाएगा 0 to pi by 2 log tan x can be written as tan pi by 2 minus x isn't it so the whole thing will come like this dx and tan pi by 2 is what that further can be written as 0 to pi by 2 log tan 90 minus theta and pi by 2 minus x is cot x cot x dx this can be considered as second and this can be considered as first. Now, adding these two, what will come? If I add these two, what will come? Adding 1 and 2, 1 and 2. We will have 2i because this is also i, right now, this is also equivalent to i. So, i plus i would be 2i and 2i is equal to 0 to pi by 2 log tan x plus log cortex both integrand are in between 0 to pi by 2 dx log m plus log n is what log m into n so log tan x into cortex dx tan x into cortex is 1 so 0 to pi by 2 log 1 and you know log 1 is 0 so 0 into something is 0 and since 2i is equal to 0 and therefore i is equal to also 0 this is the answer of this question so i hope you got it right now next question next property i am going to discuss is the sixth property and what is that property that if there is a to b fx dx then we can break them at any number of terms that is a to c fx dx plus c to b fx dx but for this condition is that c must lie between a and b jaise aapko delhi se suppose karo ahmedabad jana hai to aap beech mein kota mein ja ke rest kar sakte ho lekin mumbai ja ke rest nahi kar sakte delhi se pehle mumbai jaye aur rest kare in between in the route agar railway se jana hai to bina ahmedabad surat hue koi mumbai nahi ja sakta तो इस तरीके से अहमदाबाद में इन रूट आप रेस्ट कर सकते हो तो ब्रेक कर सकते हो लिमिट को कहां पर c पर और c कहां होना चाहिए a और b के बीच में क्या एक ही जगह आराम कर सकते हैं नहीं जी आप जितनी जगह मर्जी उतनी जगह आराम कर सकते हैं दिल्ली से आप जाइए फिर जाकर गाजियाबाद में आराम कीजिए फिर गाजियाबाद से जाकर के फिर आप कोटा में आराम कीजिए कोटा से जाकर के आप अहमदाबाद में आराम कीजिए फिर सूरत में आराम कीजिए फिर ऐसे इस तरह से जाकर के आगे मुंबई तक पहुंच सकते हैं कितनी बार भी कर सकते हैं इसका मतलब है कि इन जनरल इन जनरल वी कैन ब्रेक देम एज ए टू बी एफ एक्स डी एक्स कैन बी ब्रेक एज व्हाट इज दैट दैट कैन बी रिटन एज एफ एक्स एंड दिस इज ए टू बी सो व्हाट विल हैपन एफ ऑफ b minus f of a this is what lhs so in general what we can write this is lhs one now for rhs if i can write here a to c a to c plus c to b a to c fx dx plus c to b fx dx then what will come integrand of fx is what will happen that will happen fx because integration is not dependent on limit so that can be a to c plus again fx the same c to b so that will come here like uh, 
एफ ऑफ सी माइनस एफ ऑफ ए प्लस एफ ऑफ बी माइनस एफ ऑफ सी सो हेयर एफ ऑफ सी एंड एफ ऑफ सी आर कैंसिल आउट एंड फाइनली वोट इज लेफ्ट एफ ऑफ बी माइनस एफ ऑफ ए एंड दिस इज सेम एज वॉट इज फर्स्ट सो वी कैन राइट बोथ एल एच एस एंड आर एच एस आर सेम सो दैट इज एल एच एस सो वी कैन प्रूव दिस लाइक सो वी कैन ब्रेक एल एच एस इज इक्वल टू आर एच एस वी कैन ब्रेक एट इन फाइनाइट नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट दैट इज एल एच एस राइट ना एनी नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट वी कैन ब्रेक इट वॉट एंड वॉट इज द यूज ऑफ दिस कंसेप्ट एंड वाई आई हैव लर्न दिस सपोज देर इज ए क्वेश्चन लाइक ए स्मॉल क्वेश्चन आई एम गोइंग टू टेक ऑन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन एज जीरो टू टू मॉडलस ऑफ एक्स माइनस वन डी एक्स टू आंसर सच क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट यू नीड टू नो दैट वेयर द फंक्शन नेचर ऑफ द फंक्शन इज गोइंग टू चेंज वी हैव लर्न अबाउट दिस दैट ग्राफ ऑफ दिस फंक्शन एज वट इज दिस दिस इज गोइंग टू चेंज द नेचर एट वन so that is a graph of nature which is going to change their nature and because we have to find the area between 0 to 2 so x is equal to 0 is this right this is y this is x so x is equal to 0 is this line you know and y is equal x is equal to 2 is where x is equal to 0 is this and x is equal to 2 is somewhere this this is x is equal to so we have to find the area in between 0 to 2 but nature of this there are two triangle one is here another is there and we have to calculate the area so both the triangles are similar type we can find the area of one of the triangle and multiply by 2 so area is equal to half into base into height base is what here the base is 1 just 1 and height is what If I put in y is equal to this is line called y is equal to x minus one. This line is called y is equal to x minus one, and this line is called y is equal to minus x minus one. Right now, so if I put here x is equal to zero, then y would be one. So this point would be zero one. It means this length is one, and this length is also one. So one into one, but there are two triangle. So we need to multiply by two. And what is that? Two to cancel. So what is the area? One square unit, right? One square unit. So area is one square. That is what practically we can understand it. But how to deal with this? If someone do not want to do this, then how to deal with such question? So the idea is first of all, a student required to find that the point where the nature of the Function will change whenever it is given inside modulus. It means modulus के अंदर जो कुछ भी होता है उसको हम पहले जीरो पुट कर लेते हैं ये तो हमें पता चल गया कि इसका आंसर वन होगा लेकिन इसी को समझने के लिए हमने x माइनस वन को जीरो पुट कर लिया x को वन पुट यानी x इज इक्वल टू वन रखने से ये जीरो होगा अंदर वाली चीज को जो ये अंदर में चीज है इसको हमें क्या करना है इसको जीरो पुट कर लेना पुट इट इक्वल टू जीरो So whatever the value of x will come, x is one. Now break this limit. Whatever this uh, value will come, put them as i is equal to zero to one modulus of x minus one dx plus one to two modulus of x minus one dx. Right now, so here. Zero to one. Any value of x between zero to one minus one would bring it negative. So because the sign inside the modulus will be negative, so whenever it will come outside modulus, it will be negative as well. So zero to one x minus one. If you remove modulus sign, it will be negative. Here, any value between one to two minus one would give positive value. so this will give positive value so whenever it will come outside of modulus it will be same no change in sign right uh, just let me recall you that there is a definition of modulus that uh, mod x is equal to x when x is greater than equal to 0 and minus x when x is less than 0 so if value inside modulus is positive then it will be positive and if it is negative it will be negative 
so it will be like uh, 0 to 1 0 to 1 minus if I multiply it will be 1 minus x dx plus 1 to 2 x minus 1 dx now if I look for integration of these two then what will happen if I write integration of 1 is x minus x square by 2 from where to where 0 to 1 again x square by 2 minus x from where to where 1 to 2 so if I put the value corresponding value of this we will get here 1 minus 1 by 2 that is 1 by 2 and if I put 0 then it will be 0 again plus 2 a square by 2 that is 2 2 minus 2 is 0 so 0 minus what is that 0 minus if I put 1 1 by 2 minus 1 that is minus half so the thing will come here half and here it will come half minus 1 that is minus half but multiply by minus it will be also half so half plus half is 1 and this is the answer of this question so again I, I prove this just prove this that how and why this uh, integration is called the area under the curve and application is doing the same thing here again and again this is going to prove that whatever the area here will come by oral method the same will come by integration so we can find it now if there are some other questions of uh, where the uh, modulus will give more than one value suppose uh, not only one value but more than one value will come then what to do and how to solve this type of question so we need to break if there are two values 2 0 which come inside the modulus then we need to break it at two points and if there are three then we need to break it at three points and so on so let me explain one more question and definitely you'll be able to get it for example if i write here that integration is say 0 to 4 and this is modulus of x square minus 5x plus 6 dx right so if i put the things inside modulus is equal to 0 x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 that can be break into x minus 2 x minus 3 is equal to 0 so what will come either x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 3 it means the whole this limit what the integrand is lies between 0 to 4 that can be break at 2 and 3 as well the points of limit where this we should break it as 2 and 3 so further it can be written as i is equal to 0 to 2 x square minus 5x plus 6 plus 2 to 3 modulus of x square minus 5x plus 6 dx right dx here also plus 3 to 4 modulus of x square minus 5x plus 6 dx that can be great now whether this is a positive or negative if things inside modulus so right thing will be 0 to 2 uh, there are two ways to check it either you can check it any one of them 0 to 2 and in 0 to 2 we can pick up value 1 1 if i put 1 here 1 square that is 1 plus 6 7 minus 5 2 this is a positive so here in this inter uh, interval it will be positive so next must be negative and third must be positive you can check it in any one of them you can check it and alternate intervals will change their sign so since inside this modulus the value is positive so whenever it will be taken out from the modulus it will remain positive so it will be x square minus 5x plus 6 dx but here since this value inside modulus is negative so when it will come outside it will be negative so 2 to 3 x square minus 5x plus 6 dx got it and here again it is positive so it will remain the same 3 to the power 4 x square minus 5x plus 6 dx like this so can i uh, now we can integrate this is a simple integration looks lengthy but uh, not lengthy actually and the concept was good but uh, here i can write this i is equal to x cube by 3 minus 5x square by 2 plus 6x 
and that will come from 0 to 2 minus again x cube by 3 minus 5x square by 2 plus 6x from where to where this will come to 2 3 plus here x square by x cube by 3 minus 5x square by 2 plus 6x you know and that will come from 3 to 4 so that is a simple integration if you do this so you get this uh, 14 by 3 9 by 2 and all this this is a simple calculation you can do this that will be the answer of this question so 17 by 3 will come if you calculate this you will get this answer right okay so here we can uh, find some other questions application of this formula suppose you have given that 0 to pi by 2 cos x minus sin x modulus is equal to dx this is integration so it can be applied in trigonometric function again if i want to find the zero so we have to find it the more things inside modulus is equal to zero that is cos x is equal to sin x cos x would come is equal to sin x and what is that that is tan x is equal to 1 and x is equal to pi by 4 so we can break them as 0 to pi by 4 modulus of cos x minus sin x dx plus pi by 4 to 0 modulus of cos x minus sin x dx so what will come if i do this same thing this will come like here between 0 to pi by 4 cos x is more than sin x even you can put any value like 30 degree or pi by 6 you can put and you will be able to get it this is a positive so whenever it will come outside of this modulus it will remain positive cos x minus sin x dx and here pi by 4 to pi by 2 the cos x is less than sin x sin x is more so we can write here negative so if negative will come either i can write sin x due to negative it will come sin x minus cos x if you multiply by this and this will come pi by 4 to pi by 2 this is the integral now we can integrate this so integration of cos x is what integration of cos x is sin x and integration of sin x is minus cos x so this will like 0 to pi by 4 plus sin x integration of sin x is minus cos x so i can write minus cos x integration of cos x is sin x so this is sin x pi by 4 to pi by 2 right so if i took minus sin common it will be sin pi by 4 plus cos pi by 4 h 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2 that is root 2 2 by root 2 that is root 2 if i put 0 then sin 0 is 0 and cos 0 is 1 so root 2 plus minus 1 will come from here if i took negative sign common then what will happen this is cos x plus sin x cos x plus sin x and from where to where this is pi by 4 to pi by 2 so i can write here again the same thing root 2 minus 1 minus if i put pi by 2 cos pi by 2 is 0 sin pi by 2 is 1 so 1 minus root 2 so that will be root 2 minus 1 minus 1 plus root 2 that is 2 times of root 2 minus 1 and that will be answer of this question so considering the next one right application of this formula would be like uh, 0 to 2 pi modulus of cos x dx like this so what will happen and how many points needed to break this so again if i can put here cos x is equal to 0 then x is equal to pi by 2 then 3 pi by 2 these are the two value although there are numerous value 5 by 2 7 pi by 2 all odd integral multiple of pi by 2 will come but in the given interval these two only are accepted so we can break them as integration would be this integration can be written as 0 to pi by 2 mod of cos 6 dx plus pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 mod of cos x dx plus 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi mod of cos x dx.
Now, integration of 0 to pi by 2, value of cos is positive in first quadrant, so it will be taken outside and it will be positive. Pi by 2 cos x dx. Here, between pi by 2 to 3 by 2, cos pi by 2 is negative, so it will be 3 pi by 2 cos x dx. And again, in fourth quadrant, cos x will be positive, so it will be cos x and integrand will be 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi the limit of integrand would be 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi. Now I can put the value and what will be the value? Here integration of cos x is sin x. So that will come from 0 to pi by 2. Integration of cos x is sin x. That will come pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2. And integration of cos x is sin x. So it will be 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi. Now if I put the value then what will come? Here value will come like pi sin pi by 2 that is 1, 1 minus 0 that is 1, minus sin 3 pi by 2 that is minus 1, minus minus 1 that would be minus 2 and minus 2 this become plus 2, right now sin 3 pi by 2 is minus 1, minus sin pi by 2 that is minus 1. So minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 and minus 2 would become due to this negative side plus 2. Here sin 2 pi is 0. And this is sin 3 pi by 2 is minus 1. So 0 minus minus 1. That is again 1. So that will be 4 unit answer. So answer is 4. Right. So we can calculate uh, some of this uh, property by using this. In fact that we need to break sometimes the limit of integration. And if you break this then we need to find the limiting point where we need to break it and thereafter we can solve it. I hope you got it. Now consider the another question. If uh, there is a composite function then what to do? 0 to 3 pi by 2 modulus of x cos pi x dx like this. So what to do? This is also a one of the very important question. So as usual we put that x cos pi x is equal to 0. The things inside modulus we need to put 0. So either x is equal to 0 or cos pi x is equal to 0. But you know cos pi x is equal to 0 if it is an integral multiple of pi. Cos theta is equal to 0, theta is equal to n pi. So that will come 0 pi 2 pi 3 pi sorry odd integral multiple of pi by 2. So that will be pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, 7 pi by 2 like this. So x will come if you divide with this 1 by 2, 3 by 2, 5 by 2 etc. But between 0 to pi by 2 only one value is acceptable. This is acceptable. So 1 is 0 and 0 is already the primary limit. In between, there is one value where nature can be changed. So, all together, what we need to do is here that 0 to 1 by 2 x cos pi x dx plus 1 by 2 to 3 by 2 x cos pi x dx. Right? We need to do that. Like, so if I put here the value between 0 to pi by 2, what will come? If I am looking for 0 to 1 by 2, this would be positive. And if x is lies between 0 to pi by 1 by 2, then this will lie between 0 to pi by 2. In first quadrant, cos will be also positive. So both of them are positive. Here it will come positive. Here this will be positive, but this will be between pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2, it will be negative, second and third quadrant. So overall things will be negative. So because it is a positive, so this one is negative. It is positive, so it will come outside a root and there is no change. So it will be 0 to 1 by 2 x cos pi x dx and here it will be minus 1 by 2 to 3 by 2 x cos pi x dx. Right? Like this. So what will happen? Now we need to find this integration by part because this can be solved by integration by part only. So integrating by part now what we happen is the same thing first function and because I let you know I let C. So algebraic is come first and trigonometric is come second. So I can put 
this is first function and this is second function first function as it is integration of second that is sin pi x by pi minus derivative of first that is 1 and integration of second that is pi x by pi dx right and uh, this will come from 0 to 1 by 2 and 0 to 1 by 2 again right now so i can put here again the same thing that is x sine pi by 2 pi x by pi square to here this will be 1 by 2 to 3 by 2 and minus but in fact due to this negative sign it would be plus what 1 by 2 to 3 by 2 and this is sin pi x by pi 1 dx so i can write here for that it can be written as if i put 1 by 2 then what will happen 1 by 2 and x is pi so what will happen x is 1 by 2 so that will be sin pi by 2 that is 1 into 1 by pi and whenever i put 0 it will be 0 minus integration of sin pi by 2 pi pi x 1 by pi can be taken out and integration of sin pi x is minus cos pi by x cos pi x divided by pi so it would be a square and here it will be 0 to 1 by 2 minus again if i put the value 3 pi by 2 so that will be 3 by 2 pi and sin 3 pi by 2 is minus 1 minus 1 right minus if i put here 1 by 2 this is 1 by 2 pi and sin pi by 2 is 1 so this will come now here 1 by pi square again cos pi x and this will come from 1 by 2 to 3 pi by 2 3 by 2 so in both the cases this will be 0 because sin pi by 2 cos pi by 2 is also 0 and sin pi by 2 is uh, cos pi by 2 is also 0 cos 3 pi by 2 is also 0 so that will the last term will be 0 here it will be 1 upon 2 pi plus here cos pi by 2 is 0 right now so that will be 0 and cos 0 is 1 so it will be 1 minus here minus 3 pi by 2 this will be minus 3 upon 2 pi and minus 1 upon 2 pi so minus 4 upon 2 pi we will write here pi square that will be 0 both the cases 0 so it will come here 1 upon 2 pi plus and this will be minus 1 upon pi square and this is minus 1 minus 3 minus 4 upon 2 pi so minus 2 that will be plus 2 upon pi and this will be 0 so the things will come like if i took the lcm 2 pi and uh, this is 1 plus what is that 4 that is 5 upon 2 pi minus 1 upon pi square and that will be answer of this question so usually you can solve it check the calculation uh, maybe there is uh, something uh, maybe some error may come out i, I can't uh, say that it will not, it won't come but uh, i hope uh, as to me this is a correct calculation but uh, you can check it again uh, concept is this so i hope you got it and definitely you'll be able to find the solutions like this one the formula can be used for composite function right now and uh, it can be also used for and wherever there is more than one point you can break the limits at more than one point as well and you will be able to solve all such questions by this way doing the same thing wherever there is modulus it is necessary to find that whether there is if at any point where the function nature of the function is changed कहीं ऐसा पॉइंट मिलेगा जहां पे फंक्शन का नेचर चेंज हो रहा हो तो ऐसी जगह पे हम लिमिट को ब्रेक करते हैं और सीखते हैं कि क्या करना चाहिए तो होपफुली आपको ये बात समझ में आ गया होगा कि कैसे इसका इस्तेमाल हम करते हैं और इसका किस तरह से इस्तेमाल करके और हम लोग क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व कर सकते हैं तो फिर अगली प्रॉपर्टी के साथ अगली वीडियो में मिलते हैं अगली क्लास में मिलते हैं तब तक के लिए नमस्कार और उम्मीद है कि आपको पसंद आया होगा आप मजे कर रहे होंगे अब इंटीग्रेशन आप में आपको मजा आने लगा होगा और खूब एंजॉय कीजिए मस्त रहिए और इस तरह से आपका अपना प्यार प्रसाते रहें और हमें देखते रहें
थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच गॉड ब्लेस